What's it like guarding that guy? Barsha? Yeah. I think he's one of the shiftier uh, receivers we have on the team. I think uh, he probably don't get as much pressure as probably the other receivers, but I think he's he's just as good and he's had some uh, really good outs. When he came back, what was that like for you guys as a team to kind of welcome him back in after being in the portal for a little bit? Uh, I really can't speak for the team, but me personally, uh, I was really close with Barsha. He's one of my closer friends. We both got here early, so uh, it was I was kind of sad when he did leave and he made me happy when he came back. You feel me? Jermaine, what have the battles been like between the cornerbacks and the wide receivers before practices? Like, if you had to pick a winner every single day, what would it be? And you gotta be honest. I feel like it go back. The first practice, they definitely won. They definitely got us. But I feel like the last couple of practices, it's been just back and forth, or you know, DBs are winning a couple. Or, but it really ain't really about the DBs and receivers all, all the time because maybe being zone and it's a linebacker right here or a safety right here. You feel me? So I feel like it's just you just great work. You know, iron, iron sharp as iron. Is that? I guess, like, obviously the wide receivers have built a reputation over the last four or five years, and the cornerback room seems to be getting back to that. Can you feel the back, like, you're talking about the back and forth in that situation. Does it actually feel like an iron versus iron sharp versus iron situation now versus maybe, and I know you weren't here, but just in comparison to what you maybe were seeing when you were being recruited here a couple of years ago? Uh, definitely. I think the competitiveness has ramped up this year, especially this spring. I think just the, the competitive spirit and everybody just went up and just everybody just feel more hungry this year. So I feel like everybody just competing hard and just trying to just be the best that we can be every day. Confidence doesn't ever seem like it's been an issue for you, but how did the experiences you had last year stepping up in that Penn State game and other spots build, I, I, I guess, even more confidence? Uh, definitely just... Just the more reps you get on the field, it just definitely just builds more confidence. Once you see, once you see basically about everything you're gonna see in the game, you just gonna get more comfortable, and you just it just feels more at ease and just feel more just like football, you know. What do you see your role as in this defense? Uh, I think just it's a, a guy that can play anywhere in the back end. Just a guy that can fit me help in special teams whenever they wherever they need me at this year. Just gonna go out there and just give it my all. Have you Denzel been comes repping that nickel spot at all? Yeah, I've been in the nickel a lot this spring. I've been going back and forth, so it's been a new uh, transition for me, but it's, it's really not that new. I played uh, some nickel in high school. I really didn't play that much uh, last year because I was trying to just get back and get, get into the What's groove of college football, but it, I'm back to it now. What's the difference between you know, working outside and working that nickel spot? I think it's just the two-way go that you get of being in a slot. You can go inside, outside, and if you press, it's, it's the catch technique compared to Backpedaling and you feel me? You got the you got the sideline. The sideline's an extra defender. And it can help you certain times. You know. Obviously, it's a great thing for Denzel to be back, Jordan to be back, Davidson obviously is still here. But for you, how do you navigate that with those guys being back and you trying to stay, you know, the next step in your high state career? I think it's just, I think it's just about just me pushing them and them pushing me. Last year, it was about me just learning and they was just helping me as as the older vets. And now we all back again. So it's just like, this is more like I think it just give me a chance to learn more. And just watch the vets. Like Denzel has been about to be a four-year starter. That's big, you know. So just watching everything he do, how he prepares for practice, how he prepares every day, this is going to help me in the long run. Has patience, has patience been your long suit since you've been alive, or have you had to learn a little bit about patience in the last couple of years? I think. Um, you know, just like what you were just talking about there. Watching, patience is. Watching others do it. You know? Yeah, patience is like. It's a thing that's very hard, especially when you come out of high school. You wanted to hire recruited players. And you go, don't you come here, and then you probably don't play as much as you thought you would, or play as much as you want to, you know. And it just, I think patience is something that you just gotta just hold on to and just grab it and just don't let it go. You feel me? It's like it's it's easy for a, a guy like me to get mad and want to run away and go somewhere else. And you feel me? Do whatever I want to do. But I think patience is key, and I think these last couple of years, it, my patience has definitely gotten better, and it just it's helped me just be a better player, a better man. Who's in Green Day? Then I mean, uh, Coach, uh, you know. Because Walden over here was just talking a minute ago. You know, it's going to be a competitive thing here if you come to Ohio State, you mm-hmm. know, in y'all's room. And, and you found that it is. But uh, has he talked to you about that as it's gone along, too? I mean, about, about the patience aspect? Uh, a little bit, but not. You really just you really just know. You feel me? Like, you, you would know if not, like, what's going to go on. And I think a lot of it comes with, like, just knowing yourself and knowing what, what your abilities is and knowing where you really are. Feel me? I think some people get too ahead of themselves, or you know, think they are ahead of where they are, really are, and just it's just a look in the mirror. You feel me? And, and how tough is it when you get your shot to not like, just press the gas on the floor? You know what I mean? And uh, you just gotta go in there, you know, do your job. Yeah. I feel like that's the only thing that should be on your mind once you get that chance: is go in there and do your job. Because the worst thing that can happen, 
just something. Just, you know, you just go out there and just do your job. You feel me? That's all I got for that one. Well, when I see Jeremiah Smith, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Freak. He athlete. He big, strong, fast. It's like a lot of the same things you see in Marvin, but not not the same. He's kind of younger right now, but yeah. freak. Jermaine, thank you very much.